As always, want to bring in former Hillary Clinton chief presidential campaign strategist and Stagwell Group president Mark Penn with us. Also joining the conversation, Republican strategist and GOPAC chairman David Avella. Mark, David, good to see you both. Thanks so much for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you. David, let me kick this Thank off you. with you because we, we just ended with John Roberts on this, on this Ted Cruz situation. What do you think is behind that stunning loss? I mean, is the New York Values comment, is it that stunning? Is, was that what it was? It something else? Is it just too conservative for the state? Certainly, Donald Trump had the advantage of this being his home state. But you look at the uh, exit polling, you look at the numbers. Trump's base continues to expand amongst those who want the outsider. He's won the outsider argument. He's winning evangelicals. He's winning. Uh, uh, lower educated, lower income voters. Um, he's just expanding his base. In fact, you look at the recent national Fox News poll, he's now at 45% of Republican primary voters. Yeah. He's now got the biggest percentage he's gotten this election so far. You know, far. it's not even just a lower income vote. When you look at the sort of the political ecosystem of New York, you've got obviously, you know, Manhattan uh, high end in terms of incomes. I think it's like 60% of those in Manhattan have a bachelor's degree. Then you go to like, for example, the Bronx, 30% uh, in poverty. So it's really a very much diversified uh, region that he actually captured, Sandra. Well, I know, and, and looking at the actual numbers here, um, we are talking about Kasich, uh, in, in the stark contrast to where Kasich finished this time around compared to Wisconsin, uh, he held, he came close to holding Trump below 50% in the 5th, 10th, 12th, 13th, 20th, and 24th congressional districts. And earning six delegates. I just wonder, looking at this race right now, Donald Trump finished last night by saying Kasich needs to get out. It's not mathematically possible. Does he stay in the race and does it help the party at all? I don't think it matters. Donald Trump is now in a position to win the 15 remaining, remaining states and he has the biggest advantage he needs, yeah. the winner factor. Right. Everyone wants to be with a winner. As George Patton said, Americans love a winner. Yeah. Or put another way, the Super Bowl champion always has more fans after their win than they did before their win. That's amazing, but you're right. Mark Penn, jump in here because when you look at the clinton Sanders. Uh, debate. Uh, obviously, Clinton won big last night. Is it over for Sanders? Well, I think the Sanders campaign's got to reassess now whether it really makes sense. I think that this was a resounding victory for Hillary Clinton. I think the Sanders last few days going to the Vatican, uh, essentially uh, taking a, 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 an even-handed position on Israel uh, in the New York primary. I, I think those, the finish by Sanders was puzzling. I think he's got to reassess. I think Hillary looks good. She looks strong right now. Hi, hi Mark. This is Steve Moore. Uh, congratulations on a great night last night for Hillary. Uh, I asked this question that I've, I've asked on Maria's show of <clears throat> many um, Hillary supporters, and that, that is this question about what is Hillary's ultimate message? I think it's, it's a bit fuzzy right now. Uh, some people think it's a message of four more years. Um, what is her message on the economy? The Democrats have run this economy for eight years. Um, how do you see her winning with, with a message that appeals to people who kind of want to change? I, I think the country is looking for to be unified. I, I think the problem is that, that Donald Trump stands for politics of, of I think, division. Uh, and I think clearly he has a divided Republican Party. I think she'll unify the party. And she'll go on to say, look, I'm about breaking down barriers. I'm about unifying the country. And I'm about getting our problems resolved. And I think that if you're looking at the economy, getting immigration reform done, you know, getting uh, tax reform done, getting the major things done is really most likely to be good for the economy. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mark, because I want to get some more specifics on, on Hillary Clinton's tax plan. You know, last night we were, we were speaking about the economy a lot because obviously that's the number one issue on, on voters' minds. We know that from the exit poll. We know that this entire election. What is Hillary Clinton's tax plan? Well, look, I, I think that the most notable part is that she's going to have a new bracket for those making over $5 million. I think she's going to close, close the budget gap. I think you'll, you'll remember President Clinton was a, fiscal, uh, was a fiscal conservative who eventually balanced the budget. I think she'll bring more of a sense of fiscal responsibility through, through her tax and through her policies. Uh, related to both taxation and spending. But you, she is raising taxes, yeah, Steve Moore. Say, I'm I, wondering what you think I just don't see, Mark, about. how a, a big tax increase, especially on small business owners and so on, is going to help. The, I think that's a tough sell, quite frankly. I, mean, I don't think Bill the Clinton over $5 million... The, Bill Clinton cut the capital gains tax. Hillary's talking about raising it. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't think the OECD, she's, what she's talking about is emphasizing long-term investments over short-term. I think so you everybody have to hold securities for six years. You've got to hold securities uh, for six years. You've got to hold it for a longer period. That helps small business. Yeah. It's not against small business. I think the over five million uh, tax increase. I think I think Americans support that. I think 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 it makes a lot of sense uh, in this in this day of ultra wealthy. So I think her tax plan is going to be just fine. I think when yeah. it comes to economics, she'll get it done. And I think that's a lot of what the New York voters are saying. Yeah. We got to jump in here a second. Final word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Mar Mark's uh, point about Hillary unifying folks, That's given her disapproval right. rating, it will be very hard. But with her tax plan, she actually might be able to unify people because they will be so opposed to her increases in taxes. Unifying them, uh, opposing yes, it, Mark. That's that's the word from the set here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, good to see you both. Thank you so much, Mark Pan, David Avella, for joining us. Great Thank insights you. from you both, as always. Coming up.